What does Amber Heard have planned in her web of lies? Her master plan just might be the most insidious ever. If Depp is a pirate, then Heard is the goddamn Royal Navy, and Captain Jack Sparrow may have very well saved a lot of innocent men. What up, what up? Take her while she's so tall. For those of you who keep asking, so na, shaga yue tai hui lai, hai si wu man zhang ta do xiu xi xian ho. Wakari kong. We would not be here if it weren't for you guys. So a big shout out to everyone who's been throwing support our way. And you can continue to support by helping us do the like thing for the algorithm. And if you really love us, then you'll hit that Xiaoling button to make sure you don't miss the second we upload new content. For the past week, we have been pouring through all of Amber's lies, <clears throat> uh, testimony. And I finally put together a timeline. Just like my old Xiang, Sherlock Holmes, I like to link the past and the future through small details, connecting the dots to see the bigger picture. And after connecting these dots, our entire team, well, are we and I, fell down a rabbit hole, uncovering a conspiracy that freaked us the fuck out. And it was all thwarted by one very tiny detail that eventually saved Johnny Depp. And guess what? I've broken it all down into three parts, just for you. And the final part will expose a possible conspiracy masterminded by Amber Heard so devious that once you hear it, you might want to use other more descriptive words for her. And to do that, you're gonna need my English course where I teach you how to properly describe anyone in a very colorful manner. So sign up now and get 25% off. All right, it's time to go deeper than we've ever gone before. So, ready your pen, your paper, and your logic, and let's dive in, shall we? I sorted through 14 possible lies into three categories. The first one is tiny lies. I was 25, looking at this man twice my age, and I saw hope. It was weird because he's he was twice my age, and he's this world-famous actor, and here we are getting along about, and he grabs this teacup Yorkie and holds Boo out of the window of the moving car. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm getting all these text messages from him calling me all these names, and it was barely coherent, barely. And I'm holding his daughter crying. Are these the text messages? Yes, that's what he was sending me while I was taking care of his daughter. Fun fact, Johnny Depp's daughter was 16 at the time that she's mentioning. She was already acting in movies by this point and she clearly didn't need anyone to take care of her. Not only that, but her and Amber did not get along at all. Johnny said himself that Lily Rose refused to come to their wedding and even warned her father about Amber's herd behavior before. My kids are far more intelligent than I am and they, they refused to be around her. They didn't like uh, the way she uh, treated me, which was written in a, a very elegant letter by my daughter actually. So when Amber made this statement, she is attempting to paint a picture to the jury that she's a gentle, loving mother figure taking care of a child. That's bullshit. Now in the second category are the attack lies. Now this is where Johnny Depp and his team had that fist pump. And Johnny swings at her and I don't even wait, don't even wait for any other, I don't hesitate, I don't wait, I just in my head instantly think of Kate Moss and the stairs and I swung at him. And all of my relationship to date with Johnny, I hadn't landed a blow. Back in the 90s, Johnny Depp and Kate Moss were in one of the hottest relationships in Hollywood history, so maybe their fist pump is because she may testify, or they have something up their sleeve that they're going to reveal during the cross-examination. Now the third category is the most disruptive kind, the unfalsifiable lie. Warning, the footage you're about to see contains content shocking in nature. Viewer's discretion is advised. I felt this pressure, I felt this pressure. <laughs> I just saw his arm, I could feel his arm moving. I remember looking around the room. I remember looking at all the broken bottles. And I remember that he's just not wanting to move. I didn't know if the bottle that he had in me was broken. I couldn't feel it. I couldn't feel it. I didn't feel pain. And I just remember thinking, please God, please. I hope it's not broken. This is something that no one can prove whether it happened or didn't happen. It's basically her word against his. This is a picture of the bottle used in the alleged assault. And as you can see, it's neither broken nor empty. So we can speculate that it is a lie. Now, I'm not going to list out all the lies here today, 
What we're going to do is discover what is the purpose behind the lies. First, let's talk numbers. There are 14 lies in total. Team Depp has 26 hours remaining to plead their case, and Team Heard has 24 to defend. And lastly, Team Heard will call two more witnesses to testify next week, which we'll discuss later in part three. For each lie, Team Depp has roughly one hour to work it out and convince the jury that she is wrong. Real talk, this is a straight up DOS attack against the jury. A DOS attack is when hackers send a shit ton of traffic towards a website or computer, completely overloading it, rendering it useless. When the jury is faced with so much information, it confuses their logic, causing lapses in judgment, which is exactly what Team Heard wants. Now let's be real, Johnny looks more like a pirate to Amber's clean, angelic image. Add in Amber's crying and overacting, and you have a very convincing statement that manipulates the jury's emotions and compromises their rationale. And the bottle incident really bothered me, because how could Johnny prove that it didn't happen? This now escalates from IPV to an actual crime. And after I started digging, I uncovered an absolutely ridiculous conspiracy. Oh. Now before we get to the conspiracy, let me fill you in on a bit of US law. Many states offer zero protection against what's known as slap suits. That means if someone slaps you with a lawsuit for defamation, you cannot cite free speech as a defense. However, there are some more liberal states that have anti-slap laws. Like for example, if you wanted to hit that like button and share this video to everyone you know, in the state of California, the anti-slap law would protect you from getting sued and the case would be dismissed. So keep the anti-slap law in mind because it's a very important part of our story. All right, on to the timeline. On December 21st, 2018, Aquaman was set to be released. And this being the biggest role of Amber's career, she needed to drum up some publicity. Now in September of that year, a Supreme Court justice nominated by Donald Trump caused America to lose its shit when three women accused him of um, bedroom abuse 35 years ago. The FBI investigated, there was a trial, but no evidence was found. In fact, two of the women who accused him were turned over to the FBI for making false accusations. It was a huge national controversy. So, I have a theory. What if Amber Heard approached the ACLU with the idea of writing the Washington Post op-ed? Emails have already been uncovered showing that they wanted to reference the Trump fiasco in the article, and the chairman of the ACLU himself testified that it was Amber's idea to target the article around the time as the Aquaman premiere. Ms. Heard said in words or substance that she wanted the op-ed to come out soon after Aquaman, correct? I believe that's correct. Afterwards, Amber publicly stated that she would donate half of her $7 million divorce settlement to the ACLU. And on December 20th, 2018, it was announced that she would be the official ambassador for the ACLU for women's rights against domestic abuse. Now, all of this happened within three days at the peak of the Me Too movement. Just four days after Amber Heard's article was published, Disney fired Johnny Depp from Pirates of the Caribbean. And in March 2019, Johnny Depp filed his defamation suit against Amber Heard, the very one that we are watching play out right now. And this is where the anti-slap law comes in, because Amber and Johnny both resided in California at the time, so Amber was safe from the defamation suit, except she neglected one tiny detail that ruined her entire plan. You see, although Amber wrote the article in California, the Washington Post online servers are located in Virginia. So that means the actual defamation took place there. Now don't get it twisted, Virginia also has anti-slap laws, but unlike California, they don't offer total immunity and you can't have the lawsuit thrown out of court, which is why we are here today. Amber Heard's master plan was to pocket the seven million, ruin Johnny Depp's career while building her own on top of it, all the while becoming the international poster child for women against IPV. But it all fell apart due to one small detail. You'd think Elon Musk would have caught that one, no? My bad, my bad. So, there's one more law you need to know about, marital rape. Since 1979, marital rape has been illegal in the state of California, but it is not considered a crime. In fact, the law requires that you fight back before the court will even consider calling it a crime. Can you believe it? The most liberal state in America is on some borderline dark age shit. But this all changed at the end of last year when the law was amended. Now, as long as they come forward within 10 years, anyone can claim marital. 
and all you need is your own testimony and eyewitness testimony to file charges. Oh, and if a certain psychologist were to perhaps testify as an expert witness, saying that you were a victim of IPV and you actually suffer from PTSD as a result of the abuse, well, that could even strengthen your case. So line yourself up along with some female witnesses and a female psychologist, and you've got yourself a Me Too upgrade. Now let's go back to Amber Heard's DOS attack and the unfalsifiable lie within it. Warning, the footage you're about to see contains content shocking in nature. Viewers' discretion is advised. I remember looking at all the broken bottles, and I remember they just not wanting to move. I didn't know if the bottle that he had inside me was broken. Based on California law, this, along with many others that she told, can be admitted as evidence. So after all this, I needed to do some more digging, specifically on Johnny's failed UK defamation suit against The Sun. Turns out a major reason why he lost was because The Sun used Amber Heard as a key witness to argue their case. And upon testifying, she pointed out exactly 14 accounts of verbal and physical abuse. Now, although there was a lot of mentions of bottles being thrown around, there was not a single instance of the bottle incident that she mentioned last week. And this is what sent me down the rabbit hole to uncover the conspiracy. So, based on what we know now, it is very possible that Amber found out about the change in the marital rape law and is now changing her strategy. With only 26 hours left for Team Johnny and two more witness testimonies on Amber's side, time is tight. And if Team Johnny can't prove the bottle incident happened, or even if they can, then she knows exactly how to defend against it. So once this trial is over, it is possible for Amber Heard to file criminal charges against Johnny Depp in California where they were married. And if she wins, Depp will not only go to prison, but he'll also be ordered by the court to pay damages to Amber for pain and suffering caused by his alleged abuse. So this means that she could be using Team Depp's temporal pincer move. Except, once again, she missed another tiny detail. And I'm sure many of you watching have already figured it out. You see, US law prohibits a person from being prosecuted for a crime that wasn't a crime at the time they committed it. Ooh, Aquabitch has a habit of missing these details. Maybe it's all that water blurring up her vision. Like when she claimed to use Milani makeup to cover up her bruises, only for Milani to come out and say their makeup didn't exist until 2017. What the hell? That might explain why her bottle incident along with many others are so full of holes. Now, I'm sure you're probably thinking of a couple of F, B, and maybe even C words to call Amber out. But there are actually many other more effective words that you can use. And if you sign up for our Hip Hop English class at 25% off, you can find out exactly what they are and how to use them. Amber Heard failed to catch the Virginia server detail, she missed details of the US law, and she didn't expect that we would be sharing this video with so many people. So thanks to Johnny Depp for potentially saving a lot of innocent men in California. Now, Amber Heard's master war plan completely failed all due to lack of common sense. But that doesn't stop California law from being misused and starting another bastardized Me Too war much bloodier than the one before. Now, don't get it twisted. There are plenty of men out there doing some really terrible shit to women. And there are also plenty of women doing the same terrible shit to men. Which is why we gotta stay frosty and make sure there aren't people out there misusing the law to hurt real victims of IPV and sexual assault. Now, there are a lot of stories out there about assholes abusing the Me Too movement and destroying celebrities' careers with plenty of blood. So if you'd like to hear more about that, then drop a comment down below. So, what should you do when faced with a person like Amber Heard? Wonderful. Objection, Your Honor, non-responsive. Objection, really... hearsay. Objection, leading. Objection, leading. Objection, calls your hearsay, leading. Objection, leading. Camilla Vasquez thwarted Amber Heard's DOS attack like Neo in the Matrix, and it is rumored that she'll be the one to cross-examine Amber Heard next week, as well as Amber's sister and Johnny Depp's ex-girlfriend. Now, there's been a lot of speculation about what's going on between Camille and Johnny, but some people believe that it's just a strategy to throw Amber off her game and show her true face on the witness stand in front of the jury. And if Camilla does cross-examine Amber Heard, it could be the highest viewed live stream of the year. With only 26 hours for Team Depp to fight, next week is going to be much bloodier than before as we enter the final battle for Johnny Depp. So, Until then, I'll see you on the flip side. Peace!